this isn't a conversation about pipelines or price differentials. It really is about our country. We need to show that we are a reliable place to invest. A strategy which has been successful in the past for the Alberta Premier. The uh, polling numbers on support for, for pipelines uh, increased dramatically when Rachel Antley did that, that tour um, last spring or even a little bit before that. So there's no question that she's been effective at getting this message across. Appealing to a broader audience and the challenges the country faces, Notley continues her Eastern Canada tour with a stop in Toronto. I'm here in the heart of uh, Canadian finance because we in Alberta need you to speak up in our defence. She's not just speaking to Ontarians on this trip. Alberta is no more than six months away from a provincial election. But she's putting more distance between herself and, and Justin Trudeau. She is um, making sure that Albertans understand that she has their back. She is focusing on advocating for Alberta. But at the end of the day, whoever Alberta's premier is only has so much power. They can't do anything about what's happening in response to the court decision on the pipeline. That's something for Ottawa to do. They can't do much in the way of getting uh, more rail cars going because, again, that's a federal responsibility. They might be able to buy more rail cars, but it's up to the federal government to put those cars on the rails. A fact which doesn't appear to be lost on Notley. Canada willfully holds Alberta's economy and Canada's economy hostage, and it's done so for a very long time. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.